Hey, brothers and sisters in the Lord. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'm sorry it's so late. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning, but I just wanted to make this video before I arrested myself. Um... The gospel, of course, is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1-4. through 4. Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Okay? He died, was buried, and rose again on the third day. For, he died for your sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day for your justification. Okay? And that's what saved us. And that's why it's the gospel. It's the good news that we have redemption through his blood. He willingly shed his blood for you so that you could have eternal life. Isn't that amazing? It should be. But to some people... It's blasphemy because they, they don't trust that it saved them. They think that we're preaching a license to sin. And um, honestly, why did you ever sin in the first place? You have no excuse for ever sinning. There's absolutely no excuse. But then now you want to say, oh, it's grace. No. No. But anyway, I just wanted to say this. Um, what I think a lot of people don't understand about sin is sin is like a virus, okay? And it's in our flesh. And... Um, the sins that we commit, like fornication, murder, you know, they're just, or just the sins that are just in our flesh, like sickness and, you know, little health issues, those are all symptoms of sin. All right? God told Adam and Eve not to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So even though it had good in it, God told them not to eat of it for a reason, okay? Sin is, it can be quote-unquote good, or it could be bad. Let's say I give money to a homeless person to be seen by the public then that would be sin because I'm not giving out the kindness of my heart you know I'm giving because I want to be seen by the public okay remember by your words you're condemned so People who say you could lose your salvation, you're condemning yourself because I can clearly see all your works are evil because of what you profess. So all these things that we do in this flesh are symptoms of sin. Sin can make you feel like you're the best person in the world. Sin could feel like make you feel like you are the worst person in the world. Sin can make you feel separated from God. And it can make you feel as good as God. And the sins that make you feel like you're as good as God are the good works that you do in your flesh. Yeah. Good works um, are sin too. And that's what people don't want to believe. People say, oh, you know, I don't willfully sin and I don't sin anymore and 
Yeah, because they don't see themselves doing bad stuff. That's why it's dangerous to look at the flesh. We look at what Jesus did on the cross for our assurance. There's nothing more powerful than the blood of Jesus. Even the name of Jesus is powerful. Imagine his precious blood. Imagine how powerful his precious blood is. If his name is so powerful. And his name is powerful. Because even before I got saved, and I used to get attacked frequently... I just, like, instinctively knew to call the name of Jesus. Every time I called the name Jesus, it just went away. There's so much power in that name. You should feel blessed and honored that his blood is covering you right now. And humbled that his blood covers you. Just by believing the gospel. That is amazing news. No, you don't have to do anything for salvation. You cannot be justified by a law you're already condemned by. It doesn't work that way. Just like if a murderer gets charged for murder right? And he's doing his time and he's on his best behavior. You think that's going to stop him from serving time? It could lessen his time, but it's not going to stop him from serving time because he already committed the crime. Okay? So just like us, when we sin... It doesn't matter how much good behavior we have after. We're already condemned. Okay? And um, I don't know if I've said this before, but... I was watching Ultimate Mordecai, and um, he was talking about a speed limit. The speed limit is 40 miles per hour... And um, some other guy is going at 80 miles per hour. And the guy bumps him and, you know, he ends up going 42 miles per hour. But then, since you're going 42 miles per hour, you're going to feel better than that. You're going to feel better about yourself than you feel about that other guy because yours is only two miles, but... The reality is y'all both violated. You violated too because you, you know, it's not 42 miles. It's 40 miles. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 40 miles for a reason. God is not going to give you a pass because you did something better than someone else. So he could tell you, don't, you know, let's say it's, you know, the commandment is thou shall not kill. So you're going to look at the guy that killed 10 men like, oh, man, he's so messed up. But you didn't kill one man. Y'all both messed up and you shouldn't have murdered one man at all. Okay? Look. Internal sins are are dangerous too. If you hate your brother, you've already murdered him. You know why? Because the same seed, right? The same thing that's running through a person's mind when they just kill somebody is the same thing running through your mind right now. The only difference between you and the other person is the other person pulled the trigger, but you did not. Okay? That's why people like people like you got people who pay shooters 
to kill people that they don't like. They're no better than, you know, the shooters themselves. They're even worse. You know, you're paying someone else to do your dirty work. So, yeah, you can condemn the man for lusting, you know, for fornicating with some woman. But there you are lusting after her. Of course, they will have different consequences on this earth. But as far as eternity is concerned, if you're not believing the gospel, your eternity is going to be in hell. Okay? So it's important to not look at your flesh and not to measure your sin against someone else. It doesn't work. We look to the cross, not our flesh. The flesh profits nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stop, you know, stop comparing yourself to other people. We should be lifting each other up, not comparing. But that's all these people who trust in their works do. They compare, they accuse, they... All kinds of nonsense. But I bet they don't do a damn thing. If they tell you their works, or if God were to show you their works, their works will be so feeble. But the thing is, they don't have any because they have an evil heart of unbelief. Most of them. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I will make another video in the morning or later on in the morning. But I hope everyone has a blessed night and um, rest in grace, grow in grace. Love you guys. Good night.